So you're considering now as one of your options for studying medicine in Nigeria. And if that's the case, you definitely have a lot of questions. Is it fully accredited? What's the jam cutoff mark to be admitted? What's the quota? Overall, how is the program? Well, you're in luck because I'm an angel and I have gone through hell to get the answers to these questions for you. I'm so sure that by the end of this video, you have more points to help you make an informed decision whether or whether not to study medicine in your university. So let's get into the video. I have put together a list of commonly asked questions and those are the questions that I will be answering. So the first question is, is it fully accredited? And the answer to that question is yes, now has full accreditation for medicine program in Nigeria. What's the YEC slash JAM cutoff score that is required for admission? So, for you to be admitted, you need 5 credits in YEC and then in JAM you need 250. A score of 250. Period. So, how long is the program? The program is 6 years. I can assure you you're going to finish in 6 years. What's is the tuition so the current tuition to study medicine in now university is 5.9 million naira yeah 5 million nine hundred thousand naira and this is exclusive of hostel this is exclusive of any other thing this is just your tuition what is the current quota for admission in 200 level i'm not too sure but it is definitely 100 about 100 or even more let's say 100 150 i don't know if it's up to 200 yet what hospitals do we use for clinical rotations we currently rotate through a variety of hospitals but the majority of those hospitals are asukori district hospital we'll say district hospital nizami hospital karu general hospital and maitama general hospital those two hospitals are for specialty postings and we also visit the primary health care center in Kuchingoro and in Guagalada. What levels are students allowed to transfer into? From 500 level and below. So you can transfer into any class so long as it's not final year. 100 level, 200 level, 300 level, 400 level, 500 level, you get the gist. <laughs> what are the requirements for transferring? So for you to transfer, you need your transcripts. That's all you need. You know, your transcript with your valid records and I would say maybe your work and your jam certificates of course you should have those for your transcripts is key so i'm actually going to pause this video at this point to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you're actually getting value from this if this video is helping you out so far my channel is about creating a life that you don't have to escape from and that is what i truly believe even through my journey through medical school i'm creating a life that i don't have to escape from so if you're interested in following me through this journey you should definitely subscribe to my channel so yeah let's get back into the video so what happens if you fail a year if it's your ca exams that you fail nothing happens but when it comes to your mb exam if you fail the mb exam you are given the opportunity to write a receipt now if you fail the receipt exam you will be withdrawn from the program so you cannot move to the next year you either repeat that class or you may decide to change your course or you may try to leave the school altogether up to you but the point is that you will not be allowed to continue the program can you defer your admission i don't think so no you can't defer your admission are textbooks given to you no but there's a fully functional library where you can borrow books if you need to but books are not provided to you there are also individuals within the school that sell textbooks as well you can purchase from them but the school is not going to give you textbooks okay yay you remember the light Babes, why is it not? Why is it not on then? Oh lord. Yes, exactly. Okay, so I moved my setup because they brought back the lights. The next question is Can final year students do electives? At the moment, no. Final year students don't do electives. What we do is specialty postings for medicine and surgery. So all your specialties like ophthalmology, radiology, orthopedics, you get the gist, but we don't actually do electives. Is it mandatory to stay in the hostel? No, medical students are not required to stay in the hostel. Whether it's the hostels in the main campus or the hostels in Asoko Hospital, no. You're not mandated to stay in the hostel. You can stay off campus. So how do you apply? If you want to apply, how do you apply and who do you reach out to? You reach out to the admissions office and I will leave your email on the screen so that you could send them an email. The next portion of this video is me going to give you my own perspective on what the program in now is like guys it's amazing policy is superb like now you should be paying me come on like this is free promo 
now she'll be paying me for real because come on like the the promo i've done for this school is too much it's too much it's too much this is my honest opinion again now it's one of the best options to study medicine in nigeria the program is intense just like everywhere else but the attitude of the lecturers they are so keen to teach they actually want to see you learn they actually want to see you understand our clinical exposure is amazing as you've heard from earlier in the video we rotate through a variety of hospitals so we are very well-rounded when it comes to like our exposure to different disease pathologies and different cases as it affects different cultural and socio-economic classes of society if you choose to also stay in the hostel to a certain extent you're assured of a certain level of comfort while studying so you don't have to worry about some other things like you don't have to worry about at least breakfast and dinner you don't have to worry about cleaning your environment because there are people that are paid to help you do that my bet is that if you're considering studying medicine in our university you should definitely come so after all you've heard if your mind is favoring actually applying to now the next question that you'd have on your mind is whether to stay in the hostel or not in that case i actually have two videos that can help you i have a hostel tour and i have a room tour on my channel as well to give you a visual picture of what the hostel and what the rooms look like so you should definitely watch those two videos if you have additional questions i'm not going to hold you i'm not going to go and find out so if you have additional questions you should definitely reach out to the admission office again i'll leave their contact details on the screen also if you have additional questions about now as a whole everything now university i think there are videos here on youtube answering those questions so you can refer to those videos maybe i will look for them and tag them in the description of these videos i also want to answer them that's all for today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one